Welcome back, everybody. Here with Alexander Joyce, President and CEO of Rejoice Financial, and talking the uh, money matters stuff today. That's planning right. for college. Education. This is always a big right. one because you know a lot of it falls on a parent's shoulders, it does. a grandparent's grandparent shoulders. shoulders. Sure, so sure. It's, it's about planning. It's perfect time to really discuss this. So thanks for having me. Yeah. It's um, well, you know, one of the biggest tips I would always encourage either a grandparent or a parent with a younger child to, mm -hmm. to really start to do is invest soon. Right, is invest or you can't ever do it claim. too early, right? Well, you can't ever do it too early, but you know the thing is, most people go into investments or go into investing period without a plan, without okay. a direction, without a target, goal, or date in mind. And I think first thing to do would hmm. be to really um, sit down as a family and determine if it's education, what direction, right? Mm -hmm. I still firmly believe in trade schools personally. Okay. My mother being a union bricklayer, my father being a GMer, yeah. so I think that's kind of in my blood as well. My friend Jerry would say the same thing. Sure. So just kind of plan in terms of what is the educational goal, right? So is it mm -hmm. is it going to be a local school? Is it going to be a school that's out of state to kind of leverage what degree or, or what the cost could mm -hmm. possibly be, right? That's a really good point. Um, it makes me think of the fact I went to a community college, got a sure. full ride scholarship, but the thing is, at 10, 12, 15 years old, you don't know that you're going to get those scholarships. Right. So that's a good point. So plan to where you think you might go right. with or without a scholarship because those costs can be vastly different. Exactly, and that to me as a planner really determines the the direction or, or how we need to invest, okay. right? Um, what, how the money is going to be formed or what the, the diversification really looks like or the asset class, if it's a yeah. 529 or if it's an index fund or, mm -hmm. or if it's just a traditional mutual fund or if we need stocks involved, right? right? So, it's, so you it's say it's invest, it, invest early, early, but also invest frequently Regularly, as Regularly, well. absolutely, absolutely. There's, there's something to be said about compound interest. We like to say triple compounding where you get, you're getting interest on your principal, interest on your interest, and interest on the money that you would have paid in taxes. Mm -hmm. So the longer that you can stress that out, the more that you would obviously have. Is this something that a lot of people don't know about or they just maybe don't think to find out about? Well, I think that it goes back to what I've always said, 73% of people have yet to talk to an advisor or a planner of any kind. The 23% that do, they come home and they say, mm -hmm. how did it go? And everybody's like, well, I have no idea what the guy said. <laughs> so it's, it's, um, it's actually just getting the advice. People think that talking to a planner actually costs something where it doesn't. Um, advice is free. Education oh, okay. is 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 really it's, it's out there. Um, but again, I think that um, making sure that people do know how to get that advice mm -hmm. and 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 how to sit down and talk to a planner is important as well. The questions. I'm um, truly to ask, and we're always there. Our yeah. door is always open. We're local. And also, number a third one, you say, don't lose sight yeah. of the ultimate goal. Do you find sure. that happens? It does bit? happen. And what I really mean about that is, I think over time, when you're when you're invested, I think emotion gets involved. Mm -hmm. and I think that um, when the markets get volatile, of course, we're as some would say in a, in a very overvalued market in some in some ways, if you will, not to get political. But I think that um, over time, where that nest egg or that that asset for something so emotional like college, uh, when the market goes down or takes a, a fall for the for the negative, if you will, people freak out. I was say they get and scared. They get scared. Emotion gets involved, and and again the the goal gets disrupted, and, mm -hmm. and, and their their mind isn't isn't um, tailored on what's important, yeah. which is education, and they pull out. Is there a different way, a safer way, perhaps, or there another is. alternative? I think I think there is, and and when we're dealing with something so emotional as college. I think that diversification in, in knowing how to how to uh, build that money in a way where you're not looking for big hits in the market, Amber. Mm -hmm. You're not looking for this thing to be a total retirement plan. You're not yeah. living to look live off of it for the rest of your life. We just needed to build for a, a period of time, 18 years, 15 years, 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I think that a good interest rate for that would be five percent. Five percent. Yeah. Okay. And you know, it just always seems like a little bit as when they get to. 18, 19, 20. I mean, that's sure. going to go a long way for what they need, and it you is. know that they'll appreciate that hopefully at Absolutely. the same time as well. Thank you so much. My Where pleasure. can we learn more uh, with you? Uh, RejoiceFinancial.com. RejoiceFinancial.com. Yeah. All right, Tracy, and over to you.